welcome to another video on the Mobile Made Simple YouTube channel. So today we are unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro. Now this is a bit different for the channel as I usually focus on Android. But obviously with it being an iPhone launch day, of course it would be nice to do something a bit different. So me personally, I do prefer the Max. I don't really like small phones as I did find the Pixel 5 too small. But due to the delay in getting the Max, I thought I'd get this one in for now. And then have a look at it. This is the 128 gig version in Pacific Blue, which is of course Apple's new color. So for starters, we can see how thin the box is. So due to there being no charger, whether it's for the environment or not, I don't know. I wish they'd just gone to USB-C rather than lightning and then obviously everyone would have had chargers lying around the house. Let's open this. Typical Apple fashion. The uh, packaging's always luxurious and easy to take off. They put the plastic to one side. So I do believe that Apple actually time how long the lid comes off. Or well, that's the room right here before. I don't know if that's true. So take the lid off. And instantly we see that Pacific blue colour. Yeah, it is a very nice colour. So we take this out. So of course we've got the aluminium sides. Actually coming out of the box it does feel very cold. Obviously the steel that makes it feel like that. And it is reminiscent of the 5S. Back in the day I did have an iPhone 5S that I did like very much in the square design so they have gone back to that. So we'll peel this off the front. And then I think on the back. You can see how cold it is, it's already picking up the fingerprints on the aluminium. Because it's, it's real cold to the touch. So we'll have a look what else is in the box. So you just get the lightning cable. There was rumours that it would be braided, but it just feels the same as it was last year, to be, to be honest. Obviously, if you do want to charge, you've got to pay. And that's usually where you'd have your headphones. Now it's just some leaflets and your SIM pin. And that's literally it. Obviously, this is the opposite to the OnePlus 8T that does include a 65 watt charger in the box. I'm going to look at reviewing some MagSafe accessories as well. But online they've got some lengthy shipping times. So I might try pop to Apple over the weekend and get hold of some of them. So we'll just take the SIM tray out. But it will be more interesting once the third party cases start coming out. And they do take advantage of the MagSafe. Because even if you do buy the MagSafe charger you still need to buy a plug for it. So it, it is a very expensive proposition. So we we'll let that boot up. So if you have seen iOS it's 14 already, obviously on an 11 Pro or 11, then it is similar. So we just log into the Wi-Fi. So I've just signed into the Wi-Fi and it's activating the iPhone now. So put that down. Data and privacy, which is obviously quite big on iOS 14. So I'll just pause to set up the Face ID. So we've set up a Face ID, now it asks us for a passcode. And obviously this does feature the A14 Bionic processor, which is the fastest chip in a smartphone. But whether there'll be any apps to take advantage of that at this stage, I'm not sure. So we're just signing with the Apple ID as well. So we're now signing with the Apple ID, just to verify it's asking me to put the iPad code in. As this channel is only just starting, I do edit all the videos on an iPad Pro using LumaFusion. And I must say, I really do like that app. Keep your iPhone up to date. Also, let me know what you think of this video quality, as this is set up um, via the OnePlus 8T on a tripod as I didn't want to risk setting up the, um, the fold in here again in case it drops. So we'll just go through all of this. Yeah, share, yeah. Always go for a dark theme. Standard, welcome to iPhone. So there we go. Obviously this is the new iOS 14 with the app library and the widgets, but it does look pretty similar to iOS 13. But yeah, what we'll go ahead and do as well, obviously start using the phone, get some photos, and then I'll post a 
review maybe in a week or so on mobilemadesimple.co.uk. Let me know what you think of the iPhone 12 Pro. Is it something you're interested in or not? Um, I will be sticking some cases for the 12 Pro on the channel as well, along with an 8T case and obviously some more Z Fold 2 cases when they come in. And then once the Max is out, I'll be getting that as well as I do prefer larger phones. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching. And if you do want to see more videos, then please like and subscribe.